Good morning. Hope you had a good night last night. Personally, Stephanie and I just relaxed after prepping the graphs and everything. Watched about three episodes of you, and by the way, love that show too. <laughs> but how was your night? Was it good? It was good. Now today's gonna be a little bit interesting of a vlog because it's actually the first day Stephanie's been off since starting it. Don't know how it's gonna play out, but that shouldn't change what we got going on. Anyways, when the stock market closed, I decided that my graphs were just too messy. So I went into my grafting program and I erased a lot of what I had going on. I decided it was probably best for me to clean up the graphs and just stick with the support and resistance lines and mark where exactly I am a buyer. With that said, I stumbled across a couple of stocks that I think would be good trades for today. One of them being GE, Activision, and I was looking at Yeah, that's it. GE, Activision, and maybe eBay. Fingers crossed. Of everything we're looking at, GE is honestly probably the best. If you take a look at the weekly, it's on a two candle. Uh, it's set a higher high. The daily candles, we have a new high above support above resistance and it looks like it is hanging out on support it is a six candle though so we can expect a correction but if you look we have three red candles here so that may just be the correction four hour we have a higher low two hour we have a little bit of a downtrend but when i went down to the one hour graphs i marked that trend out and it looks like we have broken out of the downtrend and it looks like we broke above resistance and it looks like resistance may actually hold. What I'm waiting for is something, some confidence. The market just opened, so I'm not making a trade at least for the next 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, the market's most volatile during this time. And I don't wanna get wrecked by this trade, so we're gonna play it safe, we're gonna play it patiently, and uh, we're gonna see what we can make happen. In the meantime, check this out. Look at this. I'm watching Starbucks and look at the power of a like break on the support or resistance. Look at this. Found support and boom! It is up like $2. Same thing with car. This is another stock that I watch regularly. It breaks above. Boom. Boom! Skyrockets over that resistance. Stocks are crazy, man. Stocks are crazy, there's no way to predict them. That's, but that's one of my reasons why I'm like, should I play the breakout? Or should I pay, play the test of the support? I don't know. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. But I do know that gaps get filled, so patiently waiting. Right now, GE does look like it could possibly give us a trade right now. It's still a little indecisive, but I wanna take the time to actually just come in, draw my trend lines, and mark where I am a buyer. Here with GE, I'm a buyer probably above $12.10. And the reason being is there's a lot of indecision going on, it feels like. I'm on the 15 minute graphs, and as you can see, this is a higher. From here, we set a lower low, a lower high, lower low, lower high. Oops. Higher low, higher high, lower low. This, I'm. This doesn't really tell me anything. This isn't really a great candle. So I want to see how this plays out. But since this is the latest high on the break of 1210, I'll feel comfortable buying in here, setting a stop loss probably around here at 1190. That would be a dollar or that would be 20 cents. So if I could get a gain of 40 cents, that would be a winner for me. It's now 10 a.m. and of the four stocks we're really watching today, GE is looking the strongest. It's recently broke out of the hourly trend line. It's retested it. And now it is testing the resistance, the horizontal resistance. If it can break above $12 uh, and then retest that, I'll be very confident to buy it. It's now 11.30 
AM. And I'm taking a look at GE. If you look at this, this is exactly why I don't, or this is the lesson I learned from um, my buy-in with PayPal. Buying the breakout, a lot of times can lead to a little bit of correction. Um, this isn't a big deal. It's only like 10, 20 cents, but when you have money inside, emotions get going, you start doubting yourself, it's easier. And it's better for at least my mental health not to do that. So I'm waiting for a correction above the $12 mark. How funny would it be if after multiple hours of watching this stock, we end up trading something else? <laughs> what I say, what did I say? How funny would it be if we didn't even enter GE? We didn't. We got into Monster Beverages Corporation instead. And we got into it starting with the weekly graph. We're a little late into the TD sequential, but the eight and nine candle are actually corrections, it looks like. And the what would be the 10th candle is a bullish engulfing candle. This makes me believe that we could at least get one more week of some growth. When you take a look at the daily graphs, we're setting higher highs. And then we break it down into the hourly. And we're doing the same. So what I did here was I drew a green line on the previous day high, um, the previous weeks, the previous high of the week. What is it? What am I trying to say here? <laughs> we broke the resistance. This is the resistance on the weekly. We broke above it and I ended up buying it just a few cents above that. Now, I did set my stop loss to a much shorter time frame. Like I said, I want to try trading these shorter time frames. So I put the stop loss on the hourly just under the last low of the hour. And the take profits is at $64.88, which is just about 22 cents. Yeah, about 22 cents underneath the $65 mark, which would be the resistance. But yeah, but it kind of dawned on me shortly after taking the trade that maybe in the future I should pay a little bit more attention to the MACD cross and try to find graphs or stocks with the with an ascending MACD on the daily and ascending MACD on the weekly. Just it leaves a little bit more room for us to be right. Just all about stacking the odds in our favor. But yeah, that's what I got into. Oh, but in regards to yesterday where it's like you make what you take, I made a mistake. Well, I don't think I made a mistake. I think those what we did was the right move, but if we would have stayed in, we would have hit our 2% on Ross. We sold right here in all hindsight or just like a good practice in general. Once we broke this resistance, we should have bought back in. Live and learn. Live and you learn. As for PayPal, we broke above the weekly resistance and now we are sitting on the weekly support. So yeah. My boy Nelly's here, <laughs> and he's a big reef head like myself. Since the market is about to close, we're going to actually go to the fish store. Y'all, I took enough of your day, so leave a comment below. Let me know what you do today. While you're down there, hit the like button, subscribe, stay positive, and don't forget to do amazing things. <sighs> what was that? Should I just stick a towel down in here? Right. Ready to head out?